Yo, what's going on, guys? And we're here from Sham Sharania. But after three months of frustration, PJ Tucker will be away from the Los Angeles Clippers starting this Wednesday, today, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day for an opportunity to reset mentally and himself for the rest of the season. And he's expected to rejoin the Los Angeles Clippers after the All Star break. Basically, they're giving him like a week break is what they're saying and the clippers and tucker have had productive discussions this week about the disgruntled forward saying that he is a guy that you know obviously has been staying ready for potentially re-entering the rotation at some point i believe in the playoffs the conversation stemmed from weeks of boiling frustration surrounding tucker and his lack of playing time according to sources that tell the athletic it led to a much needed and strong conversation among all parties. After the Athletic reported on December 11th that Tucker and the Clippers discussed a resolution to his frustration via a potential move elsewhere or internally, no deal occurred at last week's trade deadline. A buyout has not been under consideration as Tucker has a $11.5 million player option for next season. Now Tucker and the Clippers are expected to move forward after the All-Star break with an openness to reinserting him into the rotation as the franchise enters the final stretch of the regular season and we get near the playoffs. Now, that's where I sit here and I go, this is no surprise due to the fact that I personally believe that P.J. Tucker would benefit from being put back in the lineup. I mean, they found a way to get Amir Coffee in the lineup and look good. And this, this Clippers team is fantastic. And now the Clippers, though, one thing that we could say is what is their maybe their biggest weakness as a team? I mean, they're arguably everything about this team has been great i mean amir coffee is a guy that is right now in the 100 percentile in points per shot attempt it's absurd but pj tucker where could he help this team he's a guy who really could help them in you know defensive rebounding offensive rebounding outside of terrence mann russell westbrook and Kawhi leonard their team is not really that great of offensive rebounders like i mean zubots and obviously you have my man zoo like so daniel tice russell westbrook pj tucker zubots terrence mann and are the best offensive rebounders on this team then it's mason plumley obviously he hasn't really played that much so pj tucker in his limited minutes obviously it's small sample size he we know for a fact that he's a really good offensive rebounder and what are you getting with P.J. Tucker at this point in your career? Because I know Tucker is a guy that some people are going to be like, why would we even want him back in the rotation? He's a guy who gets zero point stat lines. Look, he's an elite defensive player. Like, pound per round, one of the strongest dudes in the league. Insane. Like, he's like Stonewall. He can't move him. He'll literally sacrifice his body for the good of the team, guarding every single player, even the best players on the opposing teams. He only shoots threes, open threes, and he hits them at a decent clip, and they'll usually only from the corner i mean we see him do the floater sometime but yeah i want to hear your guys' thoughts do you guys agree with me i it just makes sense that they keep him they'll find a place for him in the rotation